Um, good morning, one and all. It is currently half past nine on Wednesday, the 16th of August 2017, and you join me in a very sunny Lincolnshire. Uh, we are now back up in the hills, having had a few days down on the flat uh, near the sea, which was delightful for me, coming from the Cotswolds, just about as far away from the sea as you could possibly get. Uh, not quite, but but very near so uh, I got near it I didn't see it uh, but you know fine in places actually this field is quite steep so what I was saying before about loading lorries if there's nowhere flat uh, it's, if it's just basically not the right conditions to do so we can't load them in the field so in this instance we're now loading them up, up in the farmyard which is not very far away just up a, a small farm track and that provides a flat uh, flat ground for me to be able to load the lorries. So when I put out the other video someone asked about what comes out the back of the Viner and I thought that the best way to explain would be to show you so we will hop out the tractor cab now and go and have a look. So as you can see here are the crop of peas and you've got the pod which has got the peas in. I've not done a very good job of this but you can see in there we got the peas in. So the waste product that comes out the back of the viner is all of this. So you've got the leaf, it's the pod itself, um, and of course the stem of the plant and basically anything else that's, that's in it that shouldn't be sort of thing. So here it is itself um, as the waste product. You can see the line of it there. And this is what, what it comes out as. Um, just, yeah the waste product basically. So the second part of the question he asked was what happens to it? Now some farmers will just incorporate this back into the soil um, either through ploughing or cultivations of some sorts. Um, they might let it rot for a little while and basically put the nutrients back into the soil. Others who may have cattle or as they call it up here beasts may row it up and bale it up as a form of silage. Um, as an alternative to grass or maize silage and then obviously feed it to feed it to the cattle in the, in the winter months when the feed is short. So peas themselves are a legume crop which means they add nitrogen back into the soil through the nitrification process um, within the nitrogen cycle and what this means is it reduces the farmers need to add artificial fertilizer the next year or the next sort of season um, because there's residues of nitrogen left into the soil which help with photosynthesis and growth of the plant. So a lot of farmers plant wheat afterwards um, to increase the yield and hopefully to increase the margins um, between the costs and the revenue of the crop. In regards to the artificial fertiliser saving, it's not only a benefit for the farmer but also for the environment um, because less artificial fertiliser is being spread on the land and therefore less is being produced, um, reducing emissions. So it's a win-win situation for both the farmer and the environment. So hopefully that answers your question on what comes out the back of the viner and it's also given you a little bit of insight into why people grow peas. Um, of course, there's a market for it. There's about 35,000 hectares of it grown each year in the UK, um, for mainly for domestic consumption um, through frozen packs. And yeah, and then a little bit about the sort of benefits of it for the following crop. So thank you very much for joining me again. See you again soon and cheers.